Your announcer, I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could mean all of our disaster. Is changing the joy and laughter to tears and pain. I can't sing no more because I might get flagged. But good morning, family. Good afternoon. How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I hope y'all all are being found in great health. And uh, y'all got to know that God is still in the blessing business. No matter what it looks like right now, no matter what it feels like, you got to hold on to that, that the creator is still in the blessing business. So, good morning to you all. And I got to read this story to you. Unfortunately, it's not the best story, you know, but when we have a situation like we have now, where we got all these mentally ill people running the planet, whether they're in the White House or whether they're in the Black House. The crazy ain't got no limit, and it's everywhere. Everywhere. Okay? Uh, t the jury found Timothy McBride um, not guilty of first-degree reckless homicide by reason of mental disease or defect. On Tuesday, September 21st, McBride, 43, was charged with fatally shooting his girlfriend in 2020. And he admitted to shooting her because he was mad that he couldn't find his damn cell phone. In lieu of prison time, McBride will be committed to the State Department Health Services for 40 years, probably Mendota or Winnebago. McBride had entered a guilty plea on September 15th. According to a criminal complaint, he turned himself in the Brown Deer Police. It's a suburb of Milwaukee. Walking into the police department, he said, I just killed my girlfriend. And he turned over a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson semi-automatic handgun. The police then responded to an address on Wobbler Court near 76th Street and Brown Deer Road. Oh, my God. Where they found the victim dead of a gunshot wound to the chest and a spit casing near her body. An investigation revealed that the gun had been purchased at the vic by the victim from Farm and Fleet. She purchased the gun for him to kill her with. Investigators took a look at the doorbell video from a neighbor which revealed that there were three groups of gunfire. I mean three, yeah, groups of gunfire. Four shots and then three shots and then four shots around 4 p.m. Additional video showed that the victim's vehicle leaving when the shots were fired, presumably driven by McBride. During the interview with investigators, he told the police that he was very angry because his cell phone was missing, noting that it was missing recently and he had to get it replaced. He said his girlfriend denied taking it, but he believed she was lying, so he shot her. Y'all hear what I said? He believed that she was lying, so he shot her. He said he then decided to go get help, firing off more shots as he drove off, shooting into the condominium clubhouse office because they were responsible for setting him up and implanting the microchip in his neck. Prosecutors noted that McBride said he had not been taking his medication for mental health issues, and there was a call to the Warbler Court address 
in June for a mental health issue during which McBride was taken to the Milwaukee County Mental Health Facility for analysis and a treatment. Now, all I know is it's one thing to think you're trying to stay safe and your enemy is right in the house with you and you're sleeping with him. Uh, it's very sad. Very sad. With that being said, y'all, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please share the video. Please check on your loved ones. Uh, if you know somebody that's dealing with mental health issues, y'all got a we got a responsibility to get some help for these people to drop a dime to make a phone call. Okay, something ain't right, and you gotta let it be known. You can't just sit because silence is consent. And to sit up in the house with somebody this damn crazy. Okay, I'm I'm done. I am so done.